one. Now that we have our WAMP server all installed on your local computer, we're going to install WordPress. So to do that, what you need to do is go into the WAMP folder. You need to download the WordPress and uh, unzip it. Uh, I've got one unzipped on my computer. I've got this one down here so what I'm going to do is move all this the whole folder into to install it and to do that what you're going to do is go back and copy this folder or drag it into the WAMP folder so we can open another folder I'm opening the WAMP and that folder needs to go into this one down here so what I'm going to do is just drag it into here and it should copy the whole folder onto www Now let's copy the folder over onto WAMP, www. I'm going to rename this because I don't want the name that big. So I'm going to rename this by right clicking. And you can rename whatever you want for that folder. I'm going to just leave it WordPress. And then we go into our browser and write WordPress and it'll ask you to create a configuration file and you need to create a database for that so we're going to go back into our PHP my admin and use Squill Birdie. I have Squill Birdie. You might have a different program. It depends on how, what they have. Uh, there should be no password, so I just submit. I haven't created a password on my one. And we create a database from here and I'm going to call it say any name you want to give to the database and then you got to create a user to the create a user and uh, the host will be local host and I can give it a name down here whatever I want and just say vision 
and uh, give a password and allow access to all databases and allow all privileges that's very important if you keep this one it will be last asking you for selected ones but since you are admin you got to have all privileges and then submit now we have Kishan uh, as a user and we're going to go into our install and say let's go uh, the database name I gave was M-A-T-H-A-V the username I gave was Cushion and the password that you gave and then leave that local host and you can change this to whatever you want so I would say WP01 or something like that and submit uh, since I put the right information it's already connected to a database so all it needs to do is run install and it's installed the tables uh, I just go a test site admin username password and allow my site to appear on a search engine uh, since I'm using a local host I'm not going to do that it's a test site anyway in my email address and install It's installed the program and uh, I'll click on login and it should take me to my WordPress. Tell go GB ten thirty one forty nine. and there you are I already got WordPress and I've got some more uh, on that WordPress I had already got some plugins installed and it's asking for updates so you can I think it's the second uh, three or three so it might be asking me if it update three or four and I'll say yes to it and update automatically Thank you. 
I hope this video has helped you how to install WordPress and update your WordPress. Uh, it's taking a little time because upgrading the database. Yeah, it's updated successfully and you can do the same thing with the plugins and I hope this video has helped you how to install WordPress on a web server uh, these are all the plugins that I need to update and you can do the same thank you